I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ on a glorious and beautiful time in His presence. My prayer to God Almighty is for God to lay His hand of power upon us, deliver us afresh, which is fresh above in the name of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. We start the broker by singing what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. As we sing this in may God Almighty, draw us nearer with his hand of mercy, wash all our sins, and create in us new spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what need explains we bear. Oh, because we do not doubt. Carry everything to God in prayer. Ah, we try as a temptation in the trouble anywhere. We should never be before. Or speak it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Oh, we all our sorrow share. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. <laughs> ah, we weak and every lad. A day go back with a load of care. Praise your Savior, see the red. If you take it to the Lord in prayer, do thy friends despise for sin. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his hands, his take and she will be there. We find our soul less there. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. Father, we thank you because you are our friend. We thank you because you are our Redeemer, you are our Creator, you are our everything. Father, this hour we worship, we bless, and we magnify your name. Accept our things in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we are grateful for the covenant of life. We are grateful for your peace. We are grateful for your grace. We are grateful for keeping us standing. We are grateful, Lord, for opening our understanding into the mystery of your word. We are grateful, Lord, for not leaving us alone. We are grateful for covering us, O Lord, with your shaking our glory. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are grateful over our lives, our families, our children, our husbands, our wives, our jobs, our ministry, our businesses. Lord, in all situations, Lord, we are grateful. We return all glory back to you. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Merciful God, we surrender all today, this hour. Father, forgive us, wash away all our sins, and feed us afresh, O Lord, with your word in the name of Jesus. Tonight, lay your hand of power upon us, and let every soul here tonight, let us all be filled with Holy Ghost, power and fire in the name of Jesus. By the authority and power in the name and the blood of Jesus, we come against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We come against serpents, against scorpions, against territorial forces, against the marine cones, against the Levitian forces. We trample upon them now in the name of Jesus. Eat us of flesh, drink us of blood, waste us of life. We shatter their backbones to pieces in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Behold, they shall surely gather, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against us for our sake tonight, let them fall in the name of Jesus. I want you to cry to God tonight, beloved, if there is a time in the history of man when man ought to pray for strength, the time is now. 
You need strength to stand. You need the strength of God to withstand the enemies. You need the strength of God in your spiritual journey. You need the strength of God in your day-to-day -day life. In everything you are doing, you need God to be your strength. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father, you know my weakness. Strengthen me, I pray thee, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, my Father, you know my weakness, oh God. Father, strengthen me, O Lord. You know my weakness and my weaknesses. O Lord, strengthen me. O Lord, strengthen me. I don't want to stumble. I don't want to fall. O Lord, strengthen me. O Lord, strengthen me. O Lord, strengthen me. O Lord, strengthen me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, the enemies shall not capture me day and night. The enemies shall not be able to capture me. They will not capture me in my dream. They will not capture me physically. They will not capture me spiritually. Enemies will not capture me. My enemies shall not capture me. Enemies will not capture my glory. They will not capture my children. They will not capture my marriage. They will not capture my ministry. They will not capture me. Enemies will not capture me. Open your mouth and pray. Say, my enemies shall not capture me. Wickedness will not capture me. Powers of my father's house. Powers of my mother's house. The light and spirit will not capture me, will not capture me. Pharaoh spirit will not capture me. Herodian spirit will not capture me. In the name of Jesus, enemies will not capture me. Enemies will not capture me. Net of the wicked will not capture me. The trap of the enemies will not capture me. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, any man or woman blocking my progress, the law disgrace you now in the name of Jesus. Any man or woman blocking my progress, anyone planning dangerous attack against my life, the Lord disgrace you. Any man or woman blocking my progress or anyone planning dangerous attack against me, against my home, oh Lord disgrace them, oh Lord disgrace them, oh Lord disgrace them. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say, my Father, every day of my life, keep me in your presence. My Father, all the days of my life, I pray thee, keep me in your presence. 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 Keep my children, my wife, my home. Keep every soul on this platform. Keep us in your presence. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, deliver me, O Lord from every rage of the antichrist forces deliver me O lord from the rage of fake pastors deliver me O lord from the rage of antichrist forces deliver me O lord from the trap of evil prophets O lord deliver me O lord deliver me O lord deliver me from the rage of antichrist forces from the rage of fake pastors from the rage of evil prophets O lord deliver us O lord deliver us in jesus name we are praying say i cover my and my entire household with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. I cover myself and my entire household with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. everlasting Father, I surrender my life before the Marie and Sakara by the Mandirebo. Lord, I'm a man of unclean lips and a mere mortal. Is by your grace, O oh Lord, that you have called me into thy kingdom, into thy presence, into this great, gracious, and great assignment. Lord, I pray thee, let your grace be sufficient for me all the days of my life. Keep me standing in faith, in holiness, in righteousness, and in power by your faith and by the love that you have shown us, forgiving us the only begotten Son in the name of Jesus. By your name called Jehovah, by the power and the authority in the blood of Jesus, wash me clean. Make me a new creature in Christ Jesus. Break me down. Remove me. And Lord, fill me afresh with Holy Ghost, power and fire. And use me to propagate your gospel to the four walls of this head. And let your gospel go forth tonight with authority and with power. And let it break forth every shackles of the enemies. Let your gospel break forth every walls of Jericho. Let your gospel set the captives free. Open the eyes of the blind. Let your gospel raise the dead. Let your gospel heal the sick. And above all, let your gospel depopulate the kingdom of darkness. Remassacre and populate your own kingdom. To you be the glory. To you be the honor. To you be the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We declare the service open in the name of the Father. The Son, the Holy Spirit, and I decree by the decree of heaven, because you are in God's presence tonight, the Lord will touch your life. The Lord will revive you. The Lord will write 
a new story about your life in the name of Jesus. By the end of this service today, the Lord will have overshadowed you with uncommon blessings in the name of Jesus. The Lord will have lifted your far above your enemies in the name of Jesus. By the end of tonight's service, God will have endowed you with glory, honor, power in the name of Jesus. Your life shall not remain the same again because you have forsaken all and you have come to God's presence. I decree man that by the authority that created the heaven and the earth, your life shall not remain the same again. The Lord will over answer you. The Lord will over answer you. All your problems of many years. Tonight, I decree by the decree of heaven, as the Bible tells me that for Egyptians, we shall see it today, we shall see them no more. All your problems that you saw yesterday, by the power and the name of your from today, you shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. The Lord shall fight your battles. The Lord shall fight your battles. The Almighty God shall fight your battles. The Lord shall give to you every good thing that belongs to you in the land of the living, in the name of Jesus. Your promotion shall manifest any power, any plans of the wicked world, any plan of the wickedness around you to stagnate you or to keep you one spot. I scatter them by the authority of God in the name of Jesus. I decree upon your life, oh yeah, move forward now by fire. Move forward now. Move forward now. Break through barriers and obstacles in the name of Jesus. For your sake, the law will destroy all human protocols and will take you to the palace in the mighty name of Jesus. As Esther was taken from nowhere into the palace, so shall your case be. The law will take you from nowhere to the palace and you shall be celebrated in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, gracious Father. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' most wonderful and blessed name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, welcome, I welcome you to the three of our special program of the seven keys to overcoming poverty. And day three, the Lord has given us the grace to look into the key number three, which is stop wasting time on pleasure. Stop wasting your time on unproductive activities. There are so many unproductive activities in this present age that the devil is using to impoverish people. People think it's only when you don't have money, that's when you are poor. No, a life can be poor in so many areas. Let's quickly open our Bible to Proverbs 21, verse 17. Please, I beg of you, before you wait, before you spend your money on things, ask yourself, will this thing profit me or will it empty my pocket? Will this thing add value to my life or will this thing make me to end my day in lack. Stop wasting time on pleasure. In Proverbs 21 verse 17, the Bible says, He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. Proverbs 21 verse 17, He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. The Bible is very straightforward and explicit enough that he that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man, and he that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. He that loveth pleasure means he that loveth to be watching ungodly things. You spend time on social media, watching all kinds of evil communications, evil programs, all the time that you are spending on social media or reading evil magazines, they are resources that everyone has given to you for you to prosper. So when you now start investing your resources, your time on things that profited not, it leads to poverty. He that loveth wine shall not be rich. Maybe spending your money to be buying alcohol, you are drinking, you are smoking, you are partying. Do you know how much money those that are smoking are spending on those cigarettes? Do you know how much money they are spending on wines? Do you know how much money they are spending of going to parties? All these are vanities that will never profit a man. Assuming you are earning a thousand euros a week, and out of a thousand euros a week, you are spending two to three hundred euros just to buy drinks and all kinds of alcohols and cigarettes and all kinds of ungodly things. 300 euros 
is a waste out of that life. It's gone. It cannot add anything to that life again. Cigarette is like making the it's like rolling your own hard earned money and setting the money ablaze. Drinking is like taking your own hard earned money, turning it into acid, and drinking it yourself. Because when you drink alcohol, it damages the liver. Praise the Lord. May God give us understanding in the name of Jesus. All these they are vanities that cannot profit you, but will empty and waste the life and the resources. Then what must we do to overcome this pleasure? Spend your life in God's presence. Spend your life with God. Spend your life reading about God. Spend your life praying. Spend your life asking for Holy Ghost to direct you. Spend your time, your resources on searching the scriptures. Spend your time seeking the face of God and you will come out of poverty. I want you to lift up your voice tonight and pray. Say, Lord, take me out of poverty. So many people's poverty is at the poverty of the television. Some are so glued or addicted to the TV that when they sit down, they sit five, six hours watching TVs. When you ask them, what have you gained? Ah, it was interesting. The program was interesting. Six hours within 24 hours of that life is gone forever on unproductive things. I want you to pray. Say, Lord, take me out of the net of poverty. Take me out, O oh Lord, of the net of poverty. In the name of the old Lord, I pray thee, take me out. Take my children, take my family out from the net of poverty. Take us out, O Lord, from the net of poverty. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, open my eyes, O Lord, to see those things that are draining away my resources. Open my eyes, O Lord, to see those things that are draining away my resources. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, O Lord, to see those things that are draining away my resources. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, O Lord, to see those things that are draining away my resources. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, O Lord, my Father, deliver me from the power of the lust of the flesh. Deliver me, O Lord, from the power of the lust of the flesh. Do you know how much people... Many people are spending on cosmetics, on jewelries that profited them nothing. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, deliver me from the power of the loss of the flesh in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, God, my Father, deliver me, O Lord, from the power of the loss of the flesh. Deliver me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord, from the power of the loss of the flesh. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, my Father, prosper the works of my hands and make me flourish in the land of the living. Prosper the works of my hands, O God, and make me flourish in the land of the living. Make me flourish. Make me flourish. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, send your showers of blessings upon my land. In the name of Jesus, O Lord God, my Father, send your showers of blessings upon me. Send your showers of blessings upon my home, upon my family, upon every source on this platform. Send your showers of blessings upon us. O Lord, I need your blessing, Lord. Send your showers of blessings upon me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Last, is it, deliver me, O Lord, from destiny-wasting powers. Deliver me, O Lord, from destiny-wasting powers. Deliver my hope. Deliver every source on this platform from destiny-wasting powers. Deliver us, O Lord, from destiny-wasting powers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Everlasting Father, we thank you because you are God that answered our prayers. Lord, we pray thee before we pray thee tonight that Lord deliver us from all unproductive activities that you are putting our money upon in the name of Jesus. From tonight, wherever the enemies are gathering up and they are making us to spend our money lavishly on unproductive things. Oh Lord, deliver us now in the name of Jesus. The prodigal son went out and they wasted all the resources. Oh Lord, we pray thee, all the resources you have blessed us with shall not be wasted, shall not be wasted, shall not be wasted. We shall not be wasted by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. 
We shall not be wasted. We shall not use our own hands to destroy our own future. In the name of Jesus, we shall not use our own hands to put ourselves in bondage. In the name of Jesus, every activities that we are embarking upon that will lead our lives into poverty, oh Lord, deliver us. Oh Lord, deliver us. Oh Lord, deliver us. Any man or woman planning to stagnate our lives in order to keep us in the valley of poverty, they shall die. They shall die. They shall die. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, my Father, move me forward. Oh Lord, my Father, move me forward. Move us forward, oh Lord. Move me forward. Move us forward. In the name of Jesus, to you be the glory, oh Lord. To you be the honor. To you be the adoration. In Jesus' most blessed and wonderful name, we are praying. You will not lose your joy. You will not lose your peace. You will not lose your home. You will not lose your resources. You will not lose your gift. You will not lose your talents. In the name of Jesus, where God has placed you and the enemies are saying no more promotion for you, the Lord will downgrade your enemies and the Lord will lift you higher. In the name of Jesus, from this day on, you are going to possess your possessions. From this day on, you are going to a higher level. From this day on, you are set free from the bondage of poverty. From this day on, you are entering into a level of super riches, spiritually, physically, mentally, and in all areas of your life. Receive the anointing to prosper in the name of Jesus. Concerning your Bible study life, receive the anointing to understand the scripture in the name of Jesus. Concerning your prayer life, receive fresh fire from above to pray without season in the name of Jesus. Thank you, glorious Father. Thank you, mighty Savior. In Jesus' most blessed and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing, share the goodness, tell the world that they must not be like the prodigal son. They must stay with God and let God direct them onto the right place where they will spend their resources. They should not go and join hands with people that will waste their resources. There are so many resources wasters out there. There are so many powers out there that they are only interested in wasting people's resources. Share this good news and deliver a soul from the trap of the resources and destiny wasters and as we share this with me may god almighty bless you increase you establish you and prosper you in the land of the living in the name of jesus we meet every day 5 p.m Mary to that five on facebook and youtube tomorrow is wednesday we will be meeting by 10 p.m till half 10 and as we gather together may god almighty break every circle of poverty in our lives in our homes and in our generations in the name of our lord jesus christ remember jesus christ is lord and personal is our lord and personal savior is coming back shortly endeavor to live a righteous holy and a life of faith in christ jesus please i pray thee that on the last day when the locals have been made in heaven you and i shall not miss heaven our reward in heaven shall not be given to another and our names shall not be blotted out from the book of life. The law, by the mercy in the blood of Jesus, shall write our names in the book of life. Our children's names and our generational names unborn shall be written in the book of life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of the lord forever and ever amen let's share our personalized grace surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the presence of the lord forever and ever amen when you dwell in god's presence you will enjoy the fullness of god let's shout seven powerful hallelujah for god to have taken us into his presence and for making us to enjoy his fullness. Let's give God seven powerful hallelujah for that. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. God bless you and keep enjoying in Christ Jesus.